Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and this is my 5G course on IAT Understanding channel. As for today, we're gonna learn about 5G dual connectivity mode or uh, as we can call it uh, multi-radio dual connectivity in 5G. So this connection uh, is basically about when the user equipment may be uh, may have a simultaneous connection in uh, connected mode with LTE and with NR uh, node, for example. So the main reasons is all about increasing peak rates, increase reliability of connection, especially it is um, very useful for ultra reliable low latency communication case yeah uh, to improve load balancing between uh, different nodes of different uh, radio access uh, this dual connectivity mode uh, may help us to uh, uh, make it more rapid to uh, roll out our 5g network and this is again especially useful for uh, FR2 uh, bands cases when 5G cells um, has a small size and uh, it's better to have a simultaneous connection with LTE as well. And uh, using dual mode uh, we can reuse the uh, current LTE infrastructure and uh, have some return on investments. Yeah. And all of these uh, positive things about dual connectivities, they are kind of uh, based upon two technologies. It is a split beer technology and uh, PDCP packet duplication technology. So, uh, but before talking about uh, dual connectivity and these technologies, Let's uh, look at uh, terminology uh, because terminology in dual connectivity uh, topic is, uh, is quite mess. So I will try to give you uh, the whole description of any abbreviations. And let's start with master node. Master node, it is a node that provides a direct, a direct communication to uh, for control plane and for user plane to core network. A secondary node, it is a node or base station uh, that provide only additional resources, only user plane. It may have some uh, control plane connection, but not a direct, not uh, via uh, radio. So master node has uh, its own master cell group and inside this master cell group uh, we have a special cell. Special cell it is a kind of a primary cell in a case of carrier irrigation. Yeah? So uh, there is a concept uh, pretty the similar, uh, the similar as uh, it uh, in carrier irrigation. We have a special cell that uh, usually, <laughs> that not usually, but always establish the first, yeah? And then uh, after that, we can establish secondary cells. So master node has their own master cell group. And the secondary node, the same uh, has a secondary cell group and as we can see here, uh, this is a uh, uh, primary cell to establish connection to, master, uh, to secondary node, yeah? And then after that we can aggregate uh, different cells up to 16 in 5G. Actually, we can uh, have a carry aggregation and uh, use it simultaneously. So. Uh, to make it more simpler, we can use not only dual connectivity as, a, as a, an idea of simultaneous connection uh, 4G and 5G, yeah, for example, 
but also uh, we can use it with carrier aggregation technology and it helps us to uh, drastically increase uh, peak rate throughput. So um, let's uh, continue to talk about uh, terminology and for this for this reason, uh, let's consider different deployment options uh, for uh, dual connectivity. So, uh, we can have a dual connectivity with a 4G network. We can just add 5G base station to uh, our current LTE network. And such base station will be in the role of secondary node. In this case, we call it uh, such scenario, such option as 3-3A or 3X option. Uh, different letters, uh, it is um, because different path uh, may be deployed. So such G node B, uh, which can connect to uh, current 4G core network via S1 interface, such G node B we call EN G node B, so it, uh, it's capable to connect um, EPC. And in this case, all uh, control plane connection will be uh, transmitted and received directly from 4G network and sent directly to um, core network. This is probably the most of the common uh, early deployment of 5G uh, rollout networks because we uh, just use uh, 5G base station, 5G resources as an additional leg to uh, current LT network. Uh, there in another option deployment is when we've already deployed 5G network with 5G core and with, with uh, 5G uh, radio access network, yeah? But in this case, still, uh, we have a pretty good um, radio access network uh, and coverage from LTE, yes? And in this case, uh, it's better to uh, say that LTE base station is a master node in order to provide a better coverage for control plane and for user plane, yes? And in this case, uh, again, we use uh, GNLB 5G network as an additional resources, as an additional lag in this case. So, uh, again, different letters, uh, that's because we can choose different path for uh, control plane connection and uh, there are others some possible options for example if we have a completely 5G uh, core network and 5G radio access network we can deploy an R to an R yeah Let's assume this is a G node B and uh, we can have an R dual connectivity here. And this is probably one of the most, uh, one of the most uh, better way to uh, get uh, the best throughput in your network but uh, you should use only 5G network in this case and dual connectivity and carrier aggregation mode. So, um, it doesn't have, it doesn't has, uh, have any uh, letters and numbers, it is just NR dual connectivity, such uh, option. And we uh, have another option, uh, it is called for or 4A or 4X and in this case 
again, we've already deployed our 5G core network. Yes, 5G core network. Uh, but we want to uh, have a 5G G node B as a master node. Yeah. and use our LTE resources only as an additional resources, as a secondary node. Secondary node. So, uh, there are lots of uh, variety, different options for dual connectivity deployments and still uh, all of this, all of these uh, advantages of dual connectivity is uh, possible because we use such technologies as split beer and PTCP packet duplication. So uh, that was short lesson about dual connectivity. Uh, if we, you want to know more about such technologies as uh, split beer and dual connectivity and wants to know how um, exactly uh, different options uh, looks from uh, the point of user equipment side. Uh, you can watch my uh, second part of dual connectivity video and uh, like it, comment below and uh, if you have any questions you can send me in an email so uh, feel free and uh, stand by with IoT Understanding channel. Goodbye.